Hey guys, welcome to my Amazon Live. This is going to be a fabulous one. So I wore this outfit just because we are going to talk all about accessories. I have so much jewelry and all at like really good pricing. So I think you guys are going to love it. And feel free if you are new here to ask me any questions throughout the live chat. That's kind of like one of my favorite things. Um, and then make sure you hit follow plus button because uh, you're not going to want to miss the next live I do because we're going to talk hair and all the things, makeup. Love. Okay. Are y'all ready to get into this? Um, we're going to talk gold hoops because I think this is one of those things that you just have to have it. And I personally cannot stand a hoop that is super heavy. Um, it just doesn't work. I like won't last long at all. So I found us these little like standard, it's like a medium size hoop and they're super light. I'll show you what it, they look like on. Yes, isn't this jacket just fabulous? I think I'm going to wear this again, but this is the first time we are seeing this. So don't tell anybody. I mean, I don't even know. Like, okay, earring, can you check that out? It's just like, like I said, your everyday kind of hoop, um, extremely light, and I think for good for everyone. Okay, um, as far as this jacket goes, I know you, everyone's asking. I'm going to put a link in my Instagram because I can't even pronounce the lady. It's like who makes it. What is it, Andrea on something? We're gonna, I'm gonna link it for you. So the cast photo, y'all know where I'm wearing that orange dress that actually really wasn't that good looking. Um, it's from the same place, but the jackets are fabulous. I just kind of had a hiccup on the dress. Okay, as far as another hoop goes, this one's a little chunkier and a little smaller. Um, I kind of love how it goes all the way around. So these are good earrings for when you're wearing your hair up, slick, or, you know, something like that. Sorry, I'm trying to find my... The other day I was getting wild and I thought that I was like, I might go get my second hole pierced. And I didn't, but... um. I don't know, I'm still thinking about it. Okay, I love this one, can you see? It's just a cute little chunky hoop. It's a little bit smaller than the other one. Um, okay, hold on, here we go. I'm trying to read this one, it's long. Um, okay, if your ears are sensitive, so, I mean, if your ears are deep, I think you got to kind of get higher quality. Um, that's just what I think personally. My ears were sensitive, I think, when I was younger, but it's probably because I just had my ears pierced. Um, and now, you know, at this point. How many piercings do I have? <laughs> well, remember that one time where I said I, I pierced uh, my chest and played a prank on my husband because I bought these um, nipple piercings and he literally believed me. So if you go to watch a video, watch my TikTok where he was like, you did what? Oh my God, what's wrong with you? But I only have two, just my ears. I did have my belly button pierced at one point. Um, I wish I hadn't done that, but it's okay. You live and you learn, you know? Okay, hoops. I don't care what anyone says. When I put these on, I feel like I could knock the hinges off of a door. Like, I just feel like I need an acrylic set and some heels on, and then I'm taking over the world and some big hoop earrings. And I love it. I mean, look at that. Those are. Fabulous. 
and also super lightweight, not heavy. Okay, my jewelry organizing is terrible, terrible. Um, I never personally take off these here and these um, because if I did, I would lose them. So that's why I really don't invest in um, earrings because I, I kind of just take them off when they get on my nerves and I either throw them in my purse. Um, so I do not have a good organizing thing for that. I need to work on that actually. You would think with this nice closet that um, I have a good organizing thing for my jewelry, but I don't. Oh, hey, Melissa from Greenville, South Carolina. That's my hometown. Upstate girl. Love you. Um, belly button ring. <laughs> Was it painful? Why do I regret it? Um, I didn't regret it until uh, I was pregnant with Hudson and then it just looks kind of weird. I obviously did not keep it in during that. Let me just clarify. Um, I actually pierced it twice because when I moved to Charleston, I was 18, had my belly button pierced and some guys that were doing hair with me were like, girl, take that out. That's terrible. And I was like, oh, okay. So I took it out, let it grow up. And then one or three years later, me and my high school girlfriends got back together one day and we had a wild hair and decided to go get our belly button pierced again. That, that one hurt. We were breaking through some scar tissue. So, um, yes. Good question. Do I like to layer necklaces? I do. I actually um, wear the same one. It's like a little star and a moon. Uh, Brett got it for me right when we started dating. I get tons of questions about it. I know he got it from Intermix, um, but I don't know the designer of that. These earrings I wear on the new season because uh, we did a Ralph Lauren party. And so these are like the, what is it, Bottega dupe, I think. Yeah. Um, and they just kind of give me like really like preppy vibes. Um, like Sophia Richie would do these, I think. Y'all agree. But these, just so you know, these are the rose gold. You can't really tell, which I don't mind. I don't really wear rose gold. I normally just wear gold um, and some silver. But I actually don't mind these. And I think the sizing is pretty good. Oh, <laughs> this girl says she has a pair in her purse um, that she wears to the pool. I like that. That's smart. This lip combo today is old school. It, I think it's uh, MAC, Sore, or something. And then what did I put in the middle? I put ColourPop. And I think that I did some kind of gloss, but I don't remember. It wasn't anything serious. Will my husband come on live? Um, yeah, maybe one day. That would actually be kind of funny. I'd just sit there and watch him. You could just ask him questions. But um, maybe. Hudson starts school, or he started school this week, and he absolutely loves it, which makes my life so much easier. First day was a little rough. Um, I was, like, forcing him, you know, to take to these earrings. Sorry. They're like a little pink heart. And they slide off, too, so you kind of get, like, two for one with this one. Um, but, yeah, I was like, hey, I want to take a picture of you, you know, in front of the house, because that's what us moms do. And, um... I said, smile, it's your last year of elementary school. And he goes, yeah, and my last 10 minutes of summer. I was like, you are my child, now get your butt to school. And uh, he wasn't having it that day, but then he's been waking up 15 minutes earlier than normal. And 
him and the boys uh, ride their bikes like right there in front of the school and get to school early. What child wants to go to school early? Mine. And I mean, he did not get that from me. So, okay. These I would actually wear with this, um, this outfit. I just, I love it. I mean, we're already going all the way anyway, so why not add a little more extra to that? So see, it's like a light pink. Southern Charm starts September 14th. Boy, are y'all in for a treat. Um, I'm super excited, uh, about this year, regardless, you know, of the trailer that I wasn't too crazy about, um, for my own sake, not anybody else, but, uh, I'm, yeah, I'm excited. I'm excited for you guys to see like what's going on with me, even though I feel like we get on here and talk about it all the time anyways. So, Okay. All time go to accessory and why? Um, a fat diamond ring. Yes. <laughs> uh, I don't know. I I like rings. Um, this is I like sleeping them. I can go with or without without a necklace depending on the outfit. Like I don't think a necklace with this. That's for sure. And then if it's taken away from the collarbones, take the necklace off. In my opinion. So that's my thoughts on that. I do like a good bracelet too. And if I had a really, really nice watch, <clears throat> Brett, if you're listening, if I had a really, really nice watch, I would wear that all the time. Oh, Chrissy, I will be seeing you at BravoCon. Make sure you come up and say hey. I think we're gonna have a really good time considering it's in Vegas. Not going to lie, low-key a little nervous about that because Vegas is wild, and so am I. Um, let's talk about these earrings. Talk about unique. Please don't look at my nails. Of course, this is the day I'm selling rings and shit. Okay, yeah, these are giving, like, Coastal Grandmother vibes, um, which I also love. Great gift. I have to stretch this thing out. Or if you have really long earlobes, maybe not for you. And I'm guess I'm finding that out about myself right now. But oh, okay. Can y'all see that? Cute. What are you laughing at, girl? Sorry, there's somebody in there looking at me. Do you like to try out styles with more affordable prices before you invest in the high ticket item? Good question. So as far as um, items go, like when it comes to like jewelry like this, not like your everyday jewelry, I definitely don't spend a lot of money. Um, one thing that I do spend my money on that I just have, no buyer's remorse or anything and that's my bags um because i do end up using them a lot so i do like to um invest in that okay wow this is you thought coastal grandmother on that last one wait till you see these okay so these are um a double pearl so they kind of go on like this, which I've never seen such, but nobody's got it, right? So another reason why we're here to be different. Talk about being different. Let me just give you guys a little insight on my weekend. So, <laughs> so I went to this concert and, you know, me and my friends, we, we thought we were cool. We we're like, oh. You know, all these girls are wearing these, like, trucker hats or whatever. Like, we should do that. Um, no wonder it has, like, 3 million views on TikTok because every other girl under the sun thought the same idea. So here we are, a bunch of guys out there wearing their hats. And then 
all the girls are also wearing trucker hats and the girls had good hats and the guys are like, you know, wait, what? Is this like an accessory or what's happening? So I don't think I'm going to, I will do it again, but maybe just like around, not at a concert. Okay. I love these. I think they're very pretty. Um, would I wear them? Probably not. Um, you know what? You want to talk about sensitive ears. Well, girl, I think we can see mine getting sensitive on live camera right here. And <laughs> we well, ask me how I'm feeling tomorrow. Oh, gosh. Okay. What did Brett think of the Southern Charm trailer? And why didn't you like it? Um, he, okay, I, let me just start off by saying, I didn't like it because I was like saying the F word every two seconds, but it is my favorite like word. I, I got to stop saying it though. Um, and of course I just went to him and I was like, oh my God, like, did I embarrass us? Like, and he's like, no, you're fine. Um, yeah, you're fine. And I was like, okay. And he, you know, he's like, oh, that's not, that's not bad. I'm like, you're... he wouldn't really tell me anyways. So. All right. People want to know what is the wildest thing you've done in Vegas? <sighs> well. Erica's right. What happens in Vegas stays in Vegas. But I'll tell you because mine's really not that crazy. Um, I went underage. That's the wildest thing I did. I went when I was 19 and I used a fake ID that said I was 33. So, yeah, I was breaking the law. Somebody gave me a wristband that said anything with vodka in it was free. So, to 19 years old, I was like, whoa, let's get alcohol poisoning. I mean, it was insane. I don't, yeah. What are these? Are these for your nose? Ear cuffs. Oh. Okay. I've never done one of these. Now, you girls who have this piercing, y'all are savage. Because that, <laughs> I mean, that's some cartilage. Like, if you could hear that thing pop, I don't know if I could do that. So maybe this is the go-to for the girls like me who are like sissy when it comes to something like that. But yeah, get two little cuffs. Erica. <laughs> or your nose. Go freak your husband out. Actually, yeah, dang it. If he hadn't already just seen me, he'd probably like it. Okay, love your outfit. Thank you guys. I'm going to link it because um, I don't even know if they still have it. I bought this thing last winter. I know that they make several different colors and styles of it, and I think we all need that. This needs to normalize a rain jacket. Can we normalize that together and all of us wear these? Because, look. No. I mean, it's, it's long. It's to the ground. Well, mid. So it's like a trench. And I don't know if I'm allergic to these feathers, but they're making my nose. <sighs> okay. So you asked if it's a ja jacket or a dress. I mean, you could definitely do it as a dress. Uh, I would just wear, you know, like something nude, like body con dress underneath it where you would never see, just in case the wind blows, you know. Okay, you guys are asking if this is a pantsuit. It's not, but we're going to make one now that you said that. So, Amazon, listen up. We're making these in uh, pantsuits. We got plans. Send the fabric swatches. Um, yes. So, my ring's dirty because I put lotion on it, but it is round. Um, it's like low profile which I love because if it wasn't 
this thing probably cut off. And my husband got it double insured because he's like, you're rough, like on everything. So, okay, y'all want to get into layering some necklaces? Thank goodness I don't have my nails done because we wouldn't be getting these on or off. Okay. I forgot I have a double chin right now. Um, <laughs> this little necklace, I like how, um, like where the hook is, there's like a little diamond. So, you know, when it turns around and it looks like the hook, it, you have a little something cute. Okay, do I have a favorite celebrity style of makeup? Um, okay, actually... I got a girl, she's a Bravo celebrity, and I love her style, and that's Bryn from um, the New York Housewives. I love her style, like, I think, and I love her hair, I think she's unique, um, I love her, I love Paige, and yeah, they count as celebrities to me, so, okay, oh, look at this, guys. This is a, this is a three and one. And actually, I didn't even really think about where I was hooking these, but I do think that this matches pretty good. So you can make them a little longer if you need to. Lisa, can you talk about your time with Patricia and Sutton? Did you hear anything about the new season? Next question. <laughs> Am I going to BravoCon? Oh yeah, I'm going. And I am wondering if I should take this outfit or not. I think I might have to. Only I saw it, so it should be fine. I just won't post any pictures in it. I mean, we have to kind of normalize that it's okay to wear nice things more than just one time, right? Like, I even think, like, what if you have, like, a little white t-shirt on with this or something and, like, some jeans and left it, you know, kind of open? That could be cute. Do I prefer silver or gold? I'm gold. Um... But I do kind of, I do like mixed metals as well. So like I have my tennis bracelets, platinum, and then this is um, gold. So I actually, funny story about this uh, diamond bracelet. Brett got me this. And we were in Maldives swimming in the ocean. We were snorkeling from our little bungalow. And we get out. We had been doing like little backflips and stuff off the infinity pool which i need to grow up but um yeah that's like hudson you know he's we're the same so i just have to do the things but anyways we're like doing the most and we get out and we were not engaged at this time and brett is always really good about looking to make sure i still have all my jewelry on and he's like where's your bracelet and we both didn't say anything we both just dove straight into the water and right at we were like looking and then right at that time um like a wave kind of went by and obviously the water is so clear there i saw something just sparkling right in between like two little rocks and it was my bracelet so um they ended up adding this little clasp on it because it didn't have that originally so if you have a bracelet like this add the the hook because Y'all are funny. I love y'all. It's okay. My hair looks great. What products did you use and how did you style it today? Okay, funny you asked that, Kylie, because so I'm thinking um, next, not next, but the following. What is it, September 28th? Erica? Um, when I go live, I'm going to do this hairstyle 
um, and show you guys the products, etc. So my real hair has a lot of curl in it, as you can even see, like underneath, it's kind of like just kinky. And then the extensions don't get near as much curl. So what I do is I let it air dry at night and then I'll go back through with a curling iron and I'll touch up where the extensions are more straight. But this will last you, once I teach you how to do this, you can go like four days and each day you do it, it looks better. So I washed it last night. Today's not like the best day, but tomorrow and the next, it'll look even more realistic. <laughs> Sounds like a Kim K moment when you lost your dime or when she lost her diamond in the water. Yeah, I didn't start crying. I, I just was like fight or flight mode, you know. I went ham. I, I was freaking out. I was like, oh my gosh, this man's never gonna ask me to marry him. I mean, I can't even keep the little bracelet he bought me. Okay, and it's not a little bracelet, I didn't mean that like that. So this necklace. I can't remember who got me on this, but it was some like, not Parent Trap, but somebody like that. It was like one of those movies back in the day. And so I had to have one. And so my mom took me, I think it was, we were in Nassau or somewhere. And, um, it, and she got me one. I lost it, of course. Um, but it has little diamonds all the way around. So I think this one's perfect, especially for the price. Um, wait, is this the anklet? No. <laughs> Woo! Y'all, it's been a day. Okay. <laughs> but anyways, if this is a neck, if this is an anklet, you can wear it as both. Just saying. I hope your ankle isn't that big, but I mean, because, well... Oh, here we go. Okay. Can you tell me about makeup products? Yes, my next stream, we're gonna do all makeup products. Uh, so I'm gonna go into detail right now. And if you follow me on social media, you know I had been struggling with uh, melasma. So I have been extra, extra on the skincare lately. It has been making a huge difference in even how my makeup appears. So I, I want to give a lot of credit to that because I do think that um, that's why my skin is looking so good. So Ella Aura, thank you for making my skin uh, look nice and my makeup apply even better. Do you guys get a schedule for BravoCon and how does it work? Yes, we just recently got our, our schedule. Um, my agent looks over that because if I look over it, I'm just like a little overwhelmed. So I just kind of like to have him sit there and say, this is where you're going. This is where you'll be and this is for how long and then move to the next. Um, and yeah, you, they put you in places and they give you a time and you're just there. I mean, last year, obviously in New York, they were very organized from what I know. So, um, yeah, it was seamless. So I, and I had the best time. I was a little nervous. Um, I did a step and repeat and it's where like you stand there and everybody kind of lines up to take pictures with you and he, and I thought oh my god what if there's nobody in the room like that wants to take a picture with me because I'm in there by myself um and then I got to meet all these amazing people that you know stood there to meet me but my legs were like shaking and it was good though because me and the other person were both nervous so when we were taking pictures I could feel her them shaking and I was shaking so it made me feel better that I wasn't the only one in the room that was completely nervous Okay, this, um, hold on. I think I'm getting a little ahead of myself. Oh, wait. WWJD, y'all, what would Jesus do? This is a little cross. We know that Kim Kardashian, I think, is bringing those back. Is that who it is? Somebody is. Um, 
my husband would love this. Actually, that's so cute. Do we know why it's a little shorter on the, or is it, you see? You know, I used to have the one that went sideways. Remember when those were like a thing and it was kind of like the sideways cross? Um, this little top one is kind of short, but I like it. It's a little understated. Someone asked, do you think Austin will ever get married? Yes, I do. We're friends now, you know? So, um, he's, he's talked to me and yeah, I think he will. Um, I mean, he hadn't told me anytime soon or anything, but I think he's dating people. Okay, what did I think of Rachel's interview with Bethany Frankel? Can I be honest? I didn't watch it. Because that's how much I care. <laughs> I, you know what I mean? Like, who was it? Lala who said, like, let's just stop, you know, giving this girl, like, let's just let it go and hope that she gets the help she needs. But I didn't watch it, no. And honestly, like, I feel like that whole scan of all thing lasted as long as COVID. Like it was just dragged out and, um, yeah, not, I mean, I got better. I need to listen to meditation. Okay. This is super cute. This is a gold plated bracelet. I was a little worried that this was an anklet and I was about to say, this is not going to fit my ankle, but, uh, if you're a teenager or a baby, Maybe. This is kind of reminding me of all the girls on the uh, sorority rush kind of situations. You know, they have all those little bracelets. Do we think that those are real? I'm like, it, it's kind of hard for me to believe that every single one of those girls are wearing like a $5,000 outfit or are they like, going to like AliExpress, you know what I mean? Which is fine. No shame in that. But, you know what I mean? Listen, if I ever have a daughter, she's either getting my hand-me-downs or she's wearing um, Amazon. Dude. <laughs> you gotta work for your own uh, jewels, my friend. Okay. This is a little beach boho foot chain that's what it says um and that's what we're given so this is a little pearls i guess um i actually invested this is something i invested in that i wish i hadn't and that was um anklets i got two really nice anklets like gold but it was like if my if my leg hair grew one day, I mean, it was like ripping the hair like off of it. I was like, ow, like this kind of hurts. So I ended up taking it off. So I don't know. It looked cute, but wish I hadn't spent all the money. Okay, let me get to y'all's questions. Um, do I always wear accessories out, earrings, necklace, rings? Is it ever just too much? Yes. Um, I do not wear... I always wear rings. Yeah, earrings. And my necklaces, though, are so dainty. That's like one of my rules. I only do dainty necklaces. Um, but like I said, this is kind of it. Like, and I don't ever think it's too much. Like, I wear this to the gym. We need a closet tour. Your closet is so cute. I love the recess the lighting yeah the lighting um in here is a little it's good but i have like a fun mirror <laughs> is what i call it because it like what's in front of me is my um floor length mirror and i swear it makes my legs look like they're that big so when i normally take a picture um or outfit i can't take a picture in here because i look like i'm or eight like it's not good so I need to bust this out and
ask for a skinny girl mirror because yeah, it, it's not working. Who am I excited to meet at BravoCon? Um, I'm excited to meet everyone. Like I said, last year was awesome. I, I felt like I left with a lot of good relationships and, you know, friends. Um, I, I'm not sure who I'm excited to meet, um, other than just, you know, who's around me, I guess. Do I ever think that I will step away from reality TV? Um, yeah, I think so. I mean, one day I'm going to be old. Um, but yeah, I think one day maybe. That would be so sad. I'll hate that. Okay, y'all, this ring is probably my favorite item on the whole entire thing. So listen up. This thing, I don't know how much it is, but I don't care. Cause I'm getting it. Um, it's like two rings, right? It looks like two men's um, wedding bands, and it's linked in. I think it just looks kind of. I don't think it's like an everyday. It's a little thick, isn't it? Yeah, maybe not. I don't know. Um, it's cute though. Yeah. I don't know. All right, moving on. We all know the season hasn't started yet, but are you already thinking about the reunion? Yes. Oh my God. It's my least favorite thing about this whole thing, but my outfit is bomb. So be on the lookout for that because I already got it. It's really good. So I'm excited about that. And then when you have the good outfit, who do we really care? All the drama that comes with it, you know? It's like when you feel good and you look good, nobody can bring you down. At least just that's my motto. So catch me on a day <laughs> when I look and when I'm in the grocery store and tell me how you really feel. You might hurt my feelings. Um, this ring, mm, it's cute. Too big for me, but um, yeah, I like it. It's a little chunky, but we'll see. Um, people are asking if Whitney is dating anyone. Uh, so he's in St. Tropez right now because I went over and hung out with his mom and uh, she was showing me photos and videos. Um, I think he's having a good time, but she told me that he said that he was ready to actually settle down and, you know, find the one. So, go get him, ladies. He's he's ready. He's ready to find the girl. Also, this ring, I definitely think is kind of like an everyday kind of vibe. Um, I would probably either wear this on the middle or index finger. Um, yes, you will see Brett this season, but not, yeah, you'll see him. Definitely at the beginning, like when I'm introducing you guys, like, to Brett and, you know, catching up with Hudson. Um, so that kind of vibe. Okay, I gotta take this ring, my rings off because I gotta show you all these. Do we have a scan of all this season? Mm. Yeah, something like that. Okay. <laughs> These are cute. I like this. Also, I have one thing for you girls out there. If you are single, do not keep that left uh, finger open. This ring finger. It's Throwing off the vibes, even if it's like, even if you're wearing something like this and it's like so obvious that it's not a wedding ring, you know, I don't think that guys are going to approach y'all if you have something on this finger. So I'd keep it open. Um, so this is a, this is a right hand ring. Okay. 
Girl, I love your outfit. Did I get it from Amazon? No, but I'm going to make one for Amazon because this is, we're going to make a jumpsuit. We should. I don't know though. Amazon has a lot of really cool like feathered um, robes and stuff that I like. So. Hey, Megan. What is my favorite cardio machine? Mm, none. I hate cardio, but um, I like my treadmill, but that's all I'm like kind of using right now because my uh, rower is broken. I do like rowing. Um, I like a Stairmaster, but I don't really like go into like a big gym anymore since I have everything kind of downstairs and I like, um, classing, like go to classes. So yeah, I don't, um, yeah, the 12, okay. Cardio, try that 12, 330, you know, where you walk at a 12 incline three miles per hour at 30 minutes. And if you do that three times a week, you'll see anything like just kind of melt off. It's like 2000 degrees downstairs in my garage though so it's been hard for me to like I've done it but like it's it's brutal all this is missing is Patricia's dogs sticking out of it because this thing is cute it's a little hot right now but let's think ahead ladies we got you know cold weather right around the corner so I think that this is a cute little um bag it just kind of, you know, be extra. Oh, this is your grandmother's favorite colors. That's so cute. Then um, check my Instagram later because I'm going to give you guys a link for this thing because I love it. Like, and then you can see, obviously, we like pink and green over here. It's like watermelon sugar. Okay, Ridge, if you're still on here, thank you for asking this question. Why didn't they do a photo, a new photo for you on the new season? Because you have literally went from gorgeous to completely stunning. Well, I didn't, first off, thank you for even saying that. But like, the hair was awful. The outfit was a miss. Um, I don't even look the same. I don't know. I don't, I was upset about it, but I mean, what can I do, right? They don't care what I, if I want a photo, they're like, girl, we've got photos of you. You're out there. I just love, my favorite thing about it, and this is what I, I'm not going to complain too much about, is they always have my hair, I'm the only one, that's like, it's like, like blowing in the wind. And I appreciate that. So thank you for making, um, the fan do all the work uh, because I'll take that over anything. Look at this little bag. Is this not cool? It's like a leather and the leather is actually pretty nice. Now, wait, I was like, how do we get inside of it? It's down there. Can you see? Yeah, you're, you're probably going to only be able to fit maybe a self. No, some lip liner, <laughs> but still a cute little bag. You could make this like elevate a basic outfit um, with this. Who am I the closest to from the cast? Uh, obviously Patricia, um, Whitney, Austin, I guess which I know that's kind of surprising, um, and Craig. So, do I ever do funky nail polish colors or do you like to stick with the neutrals? Uh, if I do anything funky, I will do like a baby blue or like, and it's like very, very light, um, almost like kind of white. And then, yeah, I'm kind of basic. 
you know, I don't know. I just think it looks cleaner and then, yeah. Oh, thank you guys. What is Patricia's fashion pet peeve and what is yours? Patricia, scandalous. She hates it. If you, like my interview look, there's one where I'm very conservative and then there's one where I'm not so conservative. You know what I'm saying? And she just said, oh, Madison, that looks like blah, 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 would wear that. And I'm like, oh, no. And then I showed her the next interview look, and she said, now that's more like it. And now I like that. Um, and I trust her opinion. But also, I was like, well, I didn't get these to just kind of cover them up. So I, I, I teeter tot on that, you know. And my pet peeve is my fashion pet peeve, and I'm scared so many people are going to get mad at me about this, but here it is. I do not like crop tops on pregnant women. I don't care if I don't like it. I don't know. That's just not that's just not me. Can I give you some hair extension recs? Yes. So obviously Great Links is who I swear by. You guys have seen me um, throughout the years go from short hair to bad extensions to now you know I, I always get compliments on my hair so I would just say based off of um, how many compliments and what I think looks the most realistic would be great links um, actually getting it done next week because believe it or not these extensions were put in in April so it's time. Yeah. And if your hair is already long, you won't need like too much to put in. And it's just kind of there to either keep your style or add a little like fullness. Oh, I'm glad you're sitting there and giggling because I am too. Because some of these questions will make me laugh. And y'all have my like live reaction, so yes. Is somebody kidding? Somebody said, Are you single or available? Wifed up. But that was funny. Does that mean I talk about it too much? Probably. Nah, your girl, you know, it was time. It's time to get off the streets and, you know, make casseroles and stuff. Okay. I feel rich in these. Like, I could care less if they are $12.99. But, like, yeah, I love these. Do you think Paige will ever move to Charleston? I hope so. I'll be here waiting when she does. Here's another pair of glasses. These are giving me like, like back in the day, like this is something my dad would wear with like a silk top, like, like hippie vibes. Cannot wait to see the reunion look. The dress from Mission Impossible event was amazing, looking like a dream. So funny you even are bringing that dress up because I had had another option and my agent, um, he, and he's also one of my really good friends. And he said, I got you this dress, uh, just try it on. And so we put it on and then we were like, this is the dress we're wearing it. And plus that was, it was fun. Okay. So these remind me of the Gucci glasses that I have, not as like little cat eye but I kind of I don't mind the shape on this I feel like something from men in black but you know I don't I don't know they look really nice
Have I taken a Pure Bar class? Yeah, my neighbor who I work out with, she uh, teaches at Pure Bar. I don't like it, but um, she doesn't care if I say that because I told her, no, that wasn't going. But I do a Pulse class. So it's like Tracy Anderson. You know her? I like that, too. Um, so Tracy Anderson's class is like 98 degrees and it's small movement. Someone said, how do you keep those pearly whites? Well, Skippy, these are veneers. I get a lot of shit for the, excuse me. I get a lot of crap about those, but um, yeah, they're gonna look like this when I'm 80. Okay, y'all wanna see something wild? I got some hair clips for when you're chilling at home in your robe and slippers to be appropriate for bedtime and cute and cozy and just like extra cause a scene in the house make make your husband be like what are you doing that's i mean come on we're the queen of our own castle right do whatever you want to do these are really cute too oh good i'm glad um how cute are these? I know you can't see how like glitter, like they're shining over here, but um, I don't know. This is, you could do like something half up. God, y'all, my roots are kind of dark. I was thinking about going a little brunette, but Hudson told me it doesn't match my personality. Oh yeah, no, sorry y'all. I can't show y'all the side profile because of my extensions, but these are it. And then I'm going to show you guys a picture of these three other little clips. Giving me fall vibes. How many more kids do you want? Hmm. Well, if I was rich, I'd have four more kids. Um, and if I have help, I'd have, you know, like, more than just like myself and my husband i would have like as many as possible but i maybe two max i'm not gonna tell my husband this but like if i get a girl this next round i'm done <laughs> i'm kidding you know i can't do that i mean i don't know i'm so scared y'all it's gonna be crazy um, are there any extensions we can get off of Amazon by chance? I'm glad you asked that. I'm going to let me do some research on that. I have seen a bunch of them, but let me order a few of them. I can probably talk about it on my next um, stream. And I'll find out like what's the best quality and we can like curl it and stuff and see what I think would be um, the perfect extension. Because... I used to only wear clip-ins, and I think the key is to buying um, different packs, so like colors, so we can mix the colors. That's how you're going to make it look the most realistic, because when you have this dimension in your real hair, and then you don't have anything down here, and this would be solid blonde, it's, it's a giveaway. Um, so I'll work on that for y'all. What housewife do you think has the best hair? Okay, I like real hair. <laughs> I would say best hair, um, Lisa from Salt Lake. I think her hair is always silky and shiny and I like that it's real. So love that. As far as best hair, um, obviously I'm gonna have to go Erica Jane because she turns out all the looks and I don't think that she misses on that I mean I know what it takes for the extensions and she she delivers so yes will you and Brett ever move out of Charleston probably um probably once Hudson is out of the house I mean he'll be 11 this year so 
I obviously can't think about it until he's like ready to go to college. But I will always have a house in Charleston no matter what. And then I'm going to need you guys to like rent it so I can Airbnb and then, you know what I mean? So, yes. Okay, uh, someone said they love my pranks. I'm in the mood for a prank. It's been like a month too long. So if you guys have anything good that we can do, let me know. Because I think my husband's so busy with work right now, he's already on edge. So I'm ready to, he's not expecting it. And he hasn't gotten me back. So I'm really scared that when he does. Um, look at this adorable tote bag. So this is um, actually more of that medium size one, which I think is perfect size because you can fit your laptop, um, all your things in it, makeup bags. I mean, it's definitely given a little like fall vibes, but you can kind of like slouch it up. Super cute, really nice quality. I think you guys would love that one. Oh, yes. Um, someone said, I love that video of your parents showing how you're a dad and you have the same lip. It's so cute. Put haters to bed. You know, it is crazy because me and my dad literally, like, from here down, we're twins. And then the rest, I'm my mom. Um, so it is funny because everybody does think it's because I had had Botox and all this stuff, but that's not true. So. Thank you, though. Do a stream on all things Halloween. I would love that. My birthday's in October, so I'm like all about the stuff of Halloween. Okay, Scaring Brett's my favorite. Let's do it. Okay, by the end, by Monday, I will have a prank up. Let me just think what it's going to be. So... All right, guys, that was so much fun. I love it. I'm already looking forward to um, next time. Make sure you hit that follow plus button. We're going to talk makeup. We're going to do some hair. I'm going to find you guys some extensions. So, um, yeah, I'll talk to y'all soon. Bye.